is Michelle Long, and I'm a CPA and an Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. I'm the owner of Long for Success, and I'd love to have you subscribe to my blog. Let's go ahead and talk today about, in QuickBooks, how you can find out any expenses that were entered but were not assigned to a job. Because if you're doing job costing, it's real important and you want to make sure that you're assigning all your expenses to a job. If you're using QuickBooks Premier Contractor Edition, it's pretty easy. You go into Reports, and you go into your Contractor Reports, and there's an actual report called Expenses Not Assigned to a Job. So that makes it easy to go in and review which expenses were not assigned to a job. But what if you're using QuickBooks Pro or another edition of QuickBooks that doesn't have the contractor reports? That's what I'm going to show you how you can do today. Is if you go to Reports, Company and Financial, Profit and Loss Standard. Just go ahead and create that standard Profit and Loss Report. Change the columns to Customer Job. And then scroll over to the far right next to the total. And you'll find a column called No Name. And this no-name column is all transactions that have been entered but not assigned to a job. So, for example, down here I've got some job materials. If I drill down on that, double-click to go see that transaction, it looks like it was an inventory adjustment, and it was not assigned to a job. I can come in here and assign this to a job. Let's say it was for Christy Abercrombie's family room. Save and close. And now you'll notice that has cleared off of my report. Let me go back to the P&L over here you'll see that now under the job materials, that's gone. So I could go through here and clean this up, make sure everything was assigned to a job. Now some of these things like insurance might be overhead. So whenever you're doing job costing, you should also go ahead and set up a job called overhead or admin so that you never have anything in the no name column. You want everything assigned to a job. Now some of you might be saying, gosh, Michelle, there's already a P&L by job report. You're right, there is a P&L by job report. If you go to reports, Company and Financial, Profit and Loss by Job, I have a P&L by Job. However, when I go over to that far right column, and this is the same period, the same dates, it doesn't give me the no-name column here. Uh, so that's kind of a little quirk in QuickBooks that it's not going to give you the no-name. The only way you're going to get the column for no-name is by doing a standard Profit and Loss and then change the columns to be by Customer Job. And then also, I've got another video that you might want to check out that's called uh, QuickBooks Tip, How to Tie Out the Profit Loss by Job to the P&L Account, Identifying Those Things that Were Not Assigned to a Job. This gives you a little bit more information on that and shows you more details about that if you'd like to check that out as well. But thanks for listening today.